Greetings and salutations, cadets. Welcome back to Skull, the Hero Slayer. Well, I don't know if it's a welcome back. But I mean, I guess welcome back to the channel. I think this is the first time I've actually recorded a Skull Hero Slayer gameplay. But I've actually recently got addicted to this game, playing a lot of my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gracenote, the OS is zero, by the way. And I figured I'm not going to be playing this too, too much on the stream since um, February. I'm going to be dedicating most of that month to just learning Binding of Isaac and getting better at that game to get prepped for the final DLC that's coming out for that game. So I'm still addicted to this game and I still want to play it. So I figured, hey, well, what better way than just record some gameplay and try to figure out this game together? Because this game's kind of hard, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. So Skull is a roguelike, as per usual with these uh, the games on this channel. But its whole thing is that it's got like a little like class-based system that you could swap between the two different skulls that you have, or two different classes that you have. There's an item set system. So every item that you pick up has like two little subsets and you can kind of make builds along that way. And it's like 2D fast-paced like action. It's awesome. And the pixel art's really cute. <laughs> anyway, we should probably just jump into it. I'm just going to play on my normal save file. There's not really... uh really too too much to explain here so we have our health in the bottom left we have our two skills this is just like the base class skull he's a little skull boy his left trigger you can throw your skull right trigger you teleport to it this NPC, uh, guessing that like once we get a lot of the meta currency we can start restoring the castle the witch allows us to do the meta progression in the game so everything from like physical attack magical attack to like really cool stuff like a revive, um, being able to sell items, like destroying them for money. Think a la Dead Cells, I guess? As well as like buffing up like the different class of skulls as well. So we did a little bit of better progression already, like quite a bit. Fox Hunter will always give you a free secondary skull. Werewolf was actually pretty good. I want to see if I can get this leveled up all the way. Um, the Ogre Peddler will always give you a free item of random rarity. And the druid, I don't know if there's really much you can get from talking to him, but if you talk to the chalice that he has, you get the blessing, it always gives you something random. In this case, it gives me a one-time HP barrier. And 100 extra health for free is uh, pretty dope. The way like this progresses is usually at the end of a zone. There'll be one or two doors, and its outline kind of notates what type of room or what type of reward you're going to get. So this could be items or gold, this is usually items, but I want to see if I can get like rare items off the bat, and if not, gold is nice too. Oh, I actually should have looked at the skill. Predation. Performs a claw attack dealing magic damage, gain 1 HP for every enemy defeated with a claw attack. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Get a little bit of uh, sustain on this. That's not bad. Granted, now all the enemies are dropping health, it's just kind of pointless. Because we have like a big HP barrier, so it's not like we could really take advantage of it anyway. Try to make sure like no enemies are like sneaking up behind me. Like once they start approaching from behind, I'll just go ahead and swap sides with them. Item. When hit, creates an explosion that deals physical damage. Cool. So you can see like the bottom here, like these are like the set bonuses you can get. Some of them are pretty simple, like all attacks on enemies with less than blah 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 percent will deal critical damage, stacks all the way up to six times. Like there's some really funky ones. I'm gonna go for this room, the green uh, lanterns, usually denote we're gonna get a skull out of it. Like even in the case like it's not a particular skull we care for, I can still destroy it. And I can get bone fragments that I can use to upgrade the skulls that we have. Eh. Cool. Uh, I kind of want to take that. But at the same time, I kind of want the skulls, or the, the bone frags. Ah. 
Alrighty. Let's see what skull we get this time. Ooh. Ooh, Dark Paladin. Uh, when dealing damage to enemies with skills, gains a charge in the form of darkness. When charges are full, consumes the charges and creates an HP barrier with 10 HP that lasts for 20 seconds. While the HP, HP barrier lasts, amplifies magic attack by 30%. And all his skills do magic damage. No, I've never seen this one, so let me go ahead and pick it up. Standard 3 hits. Ooh. And what's the other one? Sends out a powerful wave. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's give this one a shot. Purple is always a shot, but I'm poor. I don't really have anything, so we'll just keep going. We have our first boss fight, too. Ow. Oh, <laughs> right out of range. Uh oh, ah. Attack speed by 20 seems pretty good. Increases magic attack by 55% for 3 seconds when hit. I don't want to rely on things that re require me to actually take damage, so I kind of don't want hate stone. I'll take dwarf. Attack speed is always decent. Uh, can I upgrade werewolf? Yes. So usually in like the middle of zones and the beginning of the next zone, you can find Arachne and she'll upgrade your skulls, and she uses uh, Bone Fragments to upgrade them. You can get ev almost every single class all the way up to Legendary. I think with the exception of some Uniques. Oh, this one does actually upgrade. Interesting. Alright, what did I get from Werewolf? Predation is still there. Elder Werewolf, a member of the Wolf race that grew and formed a pack. Increased movement speed and dashes by 10% when enemies are defeated. Increases movement speed and dashes by 30% for 3 seconds. Interesting. Gains 1 HP, 1 HP for every enemy defeated with a claw attack. Increases crit rate by 5% for 20 seconds. Max 20%. Ooh, that can snowball really well. Especially with a lot of like low HP enemies. Hmm. Like, if we really do want to commit to these two skulls, I need to find a Quintessence that gives me a hybrid damage increase. enough to buy some stuff. But get Rider. Attack speed by 40%. No. Inflicts physical damage enemies that you land on after jumping. Increase physical attack by 25. That's a maybe. March and Soar. I mean, I kind of want the physical damage for Elder Werewolf, just so my normal attacks actually deal something. And then that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't have money for really anything else. Ah, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if we'd want to try to get far more skulls. Actually, let's try to go for items. Items and money.
Gosh. That's so much damage. Dash damage by 100%, decreases incoming damage by 10%. Eh. Ow. Blessing of a Mist. Hey, increases max HP. That's nice. Just a free 50 HP? That's actually kind of nutty. Considering, like, most HP increases are... I think the highest one is from a Quintessence, which is 40. So getting 50 for free is kind of nuts, actually. I think I'm going to stick to this, uh, this skull for this fight. Whoops. Oh. Oh my gosh, the damage is so nuts. Ouch. Ouch. Taking a little bit of damage here, but that's just fine. The skull, <laughs> the skull is so strong. I think I want to upgrade this one first. But I guess it kind of depends on how much it costs to upgrade our werewolf again. Attack speed 20 or just another 40 HP? Uh, we can. That big a difference. Sure. We'll go for the, like the little bit of extra tankiness for now. Let me see. 30 bones? Peasants! I don't want to trade too many hits here for free. Dang, you took a lot of damage out of me. Probably go for for werewolf for now. See if we can get some kills with predation. Whoops! I dashed right into that. Mm, that was a bad trade. <laughs> Dashing creates an energy blast that deals physical damage. Sprint and march. Two stack march amplifies physical attack by 6%. That full stack is uh, 70 something though. Pretty good. 
Uh, Iron Shoes Bitter Cold. The 35% could be really nice for us. For Dark Paladin, at least. Start stacking, like, a lot of uh, magic damage. Let's even get some skulls here. So annoying. I do like Genie. I do like Skulls a little bit more. Let's see if we can get this up to 30. I want 30 skulls so we can upgrade it. Or a werewolf at least. Taking a lot of rando hits. And uh, destroy this. Ow! Ouch! 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 Let's take out the archer first. Ow. Kinda met that with my face. <laughs> Attack speed by 30%. When swapping, inflicts like stun on nearby enemies. Endure and mutant. Uh, we have one endure. No mutant, though. I mean, that might be okay later. I just don't know. I don't remember what mutant does. Increase the cooldown speed of swapping. Oh, I see. Let me see what tier 3 werewolf looks like. That's a big boy. Charges 4 and bites a main dealing physical damage. Effective enemies take 100% more damage for 3 seconds. Whoa. When enemies are defeated with the skill, the, the cooldown is reset. Increases crit rate by up to 30% in proportion to the distance moved. Huh. The notorious alpha werewolf them made quite a name for themselves with their pack. Ooh, and Predation also gets an attack speed bonus now? Interesting. Can this be upgraded again? 100. Okay, so now we're at 100 for each now. Still taking a lot of damage. Uh we can get some more items. Hmm. 
No. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, the only problem with that attack is that, like... It kind of freezes me in place and I can't dodge cancel out of it. Big item. Ninja Mask. Amplifies damage dealt from behind by 40%. Duel and Soar. Damage received by the attack to be increased by 0.5%. Stacks up to 10 times. Can only affect a maximum one enemy. Interesting. That doesn't really help us that much. Kinda need to buy... Food. Brawler's Knuckle actually wouldn't be too bad here. It's another stack of duel, which is nice for boss clear. Draft stone, I think, is gone. Okay. <laughs> Rude. Mm, sure. More skulls, I guess. Rude. Ouch. Oops. As much as I want to. Leanna Sisters. Alright. Basically just need to not be greedy. Ow. Like that. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Ow. Got one of them. Ow. that trade was worth it. one <sighs> oh right out of range feels bad Dark power! And off he goes. Alright, give me a good item, please. Mage's Mana Bracelet. Increases skill cooldown speed by 120% for 10 seconds every time 8 skills are used. That can be okay. Sorcery and static. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is gone. Can't really do anything in the Rackney because we need a hundred skulls of pop. to shop. Hmm. Sprint and chase. Damage is amplified by up to... Well, I guess if we get the two stack, 30% based on the distance of the targeted enemy. Okay. Increases physical attack by 40%. Increases max HP of power skulls by 35. Only thing that kind of sucks is that we won't really be able to take advantage of the 35 HP, but execute is pretty decent. Gotta get, gotta get a two stack from that. 
Oh, demolition does. I don't think we have any. But 40% physical damage? You know, I could... I could be down for that. That at least still helps our regular attacks with Paladin. As well as all of the damage for Werewolf. I think maybe this is gone. It's either that or this. Semperson damage reduction is okay. We don't really do dash attack. Like, we're not power type, though. I think this is gone. We'll take this for the extra stack and execute. 7% HP will deal critical damage. If I can get that higher, that'd be great. When dealing physical damage deals additional true damage equal to 10% of physical damage. Can only affect your target once every 8 seconds. Eh. Get the healing. And we're kind of poor, so let us go and we'll continue stacking skulls, baby. Coming to get you, Alchemist. Here you, me. Oh, not expecting that. Oh, I really like Ninja. Well, hmm. I can either take the ninja now, or we can break it instead. I don't know, I really want to see Alpha Werewolf all the way through. Much as I love ninja. I want to get these two things like fully leveled up. Especially Dark Paladin. Dark Paladin slaps. Whoops. Ow. Okay, get me out of this hole. Ow. Rude. <laughs> no. Halfway there. It's like we can release Magnifico, but I'm not going to take the Blessing. I like my skills. Change to something better? Nah, I'm okay. We want to make sure we take out this Priestess first, but we need to make also make sure... Oh, we're not going to take too much rando damage. Seems like that's what's happening.
Ja. Autsch! Okay. Slowly but surely. Ugh. Took a lot of damage there. Max HP 40, inflicts freeze on affected enemies. The freeze actually could be better than just damage reduction. Because so I don't want to take too many more trades, you know? Eh. Go for more skulls. No. Oh god, we are taking a lot of damage. Shoot. Okay, these alchemists that are like up here are like wrecking my stuff. Please stop. Uh oh, that's an explosion on me. Uh, there's my, uh, my resurrect, unfortunately. Ouch. I think the biggest mistake of that room is leaving that big dark alchemist alive. That was an issue. For an item? No, let's let's keep going for this. Ow. Ugh. So annoying. Yeah. Man. Rude. I took way too damage on the previous room. Feels bad, man. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching if you made it here. I'm still kind of learning this game and trying to make sure like I'm not trading too much. That's like my kind of problem with like the melee builds. Is I just kind of stand and try to trade. And I don't know why I do that. It happens a lot in Hades as well. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, and, uh, yeah. Also, make sure to follow our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Grayson with the O's of Zero, and come say hi. I like it when you guys say hi, and I get to meet y'all. If you have any questions about any of the roguelikes we're playing, we're trying to get better at some of the ones we're bad at, but if you have questions about the ones we're actually good at, hey, feel free to say hi. Anyway, thanks so much again for watching. Until next time, guys, good luck in your runs. Bye bye